MLB The Show 23, what we know and how we can actually move forward based on the tech test. As many of you know, the tech test ended on Tuesday. I'm recording this video on Thursday. I'm snowed in my dorm room because of fabulous Minnesota weather. So as I record this video and talk about this, I want to give my overall thoughts about MLB The Show 23, what they can do to make the game better, and also overall make people continue to look at it positively versus negatively. SDS has made a lot of changes and they overall can tell that they've even admitted that, hey, this game last year sucked. Now let's try to go in a new direction for 23 and basically revamp it. And basically what they're doing is they're kind of taking the same approach that they did when it was MLB The Show 18 versus MLB The Show 19. MLB The Show 19 was so much different, it felt like, and things were actually changed. This year, they are going above and beyond what 19 had 19 was kind of like we're gonna make things a lot more easier content you can get a lot more content we're gonna make the game harder in the sense like you have to have skill to be good at the game and they're doing the same thing here like the hitting engine oh my gosh it is hard this hitting engine is so freaking hard but at the same time that's what we want the good players to be rewarded and actually put together good at bats good swings versus basically putting a newborn baby with a controller and they're gonna hit a home run but I will say major props for SDS to actually owning up to their mistake when it comes to MLB The Show 22. When I saw that on that live stream, it was actually amazing to hear that, hey, they got in front of everybody and were like, you know what? We messed up. We're going to try to fix this, and this is where we're going, adding all the new stuff when it comes to the game. Gameplay-wise, I really only have, like, a few complaints. I mean, obviously, there's going to be some complaints everybody can attest to is perfect perfects need to be a little bit more consistent. Unless, like, you get the lucky, like, pull it to either left field or right field, it's a home run. But if you hit one to center, it feels like it's more 50-50 luck-based if it's going to be a home run. But if you hit a perfect perfect line drive into the gap, like, sometimes they get caught, sometimes they just don't go anywhere and it's kind of like a routine fly ball i think if they make it a little bit better like a little bit more consistent this game is going to be a lot of fun for a lot of people but i love the direction they're going i love how they're making defense matter because now with the dh is guys like your don you know juan soto that home run derby card last year you know now you can use those bats as dhs and actually have an outfielder that you want to have out there like everyone's got to have good fielding and it has to be a good defensive player otherwise you're gonna struggle like trying to get this new throwing meter down and especially the fact too like even having mike trout out there or you know Brian Reynolds, Julio Rodriguez out there in the tech test, their meter is super hard to get used to, and they are one of the best fielding options for outfield that you really had in the tech test to use. With that being said, I really like the direction they're going, and plus the picking system. Like, you know, if you get in the yellow, it depends on the first baseman you have. So if you have Babe Ruth at first base, he's not really going to make that pick. Same with Frank Thomas. Like, those guys, they're not going to make picks, and it's going to be... It's going to be a fun time. I mean, I think it's going to be fun. You know, the lineup diversity and plus all the like the sets that we're seeing as well. A lot of different people use a lot of different cards. And I'm okay with that because I like using random cards. I don't like using the same cards over and over and over again. I like to use different cards and mix things up. I fell in love with this game over 22. I, I know it's just a beta and there's no like, you know, obviously the Negro Leagues are not in the game yet. And, you know, obviously we haven't seen half of what they're going to be showing us for everything. But so far, the screenshots of what the content is going to be like, I'm actually pretty excited. It's a lot different, and it's kind of that, like, battle pass feel, that battle pass kind of thing. And plus, having a limit on everything, it looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. This year, it feels like the easiest thing to do is pitch because it's so hard to get squared up baseballs, which is what it should be like in real life. Yeah, you're going to get a couple, like... You're not going to get a, a single good swing off, but you're going to get a couple base hits. And that's what I've been seeing as well. Yes, does it suck? Yeah, it does suck. But is that pretty realistic? That's pretty realistic. And now when it comes to actually getting, you know, your good swings off, it's so much better. And I just, overall, I love it. I mean, I think it's really good. It's a really good step in the right direction. And plus, fielding as well, being hard just makes it more realistic overall. Obviously, we're not going for like a simulation with MLB The Show, but I like the idea of making it 
that extra challenge to it because obviously repetition when it comes to fielding you just go get the ball move your meter to the middle and it's pretty easy now it's like it's random it depends on it the only thing that i didn't really enjoy during the tech test was if there was a like if you had to charge if you had to charge it on a ground ball and you would try to pick up the meter as soon as you did it it wouldn't pop up half the time so i wish it could be just a glitch in the system but maybe they can just make it how it was last year where they just allowed you to have the meter the way you wanted to yeah overall there was one thing i have not talked about yet and that is the new PCI center so there's a new PCI center should be on the screen by now but it's on the PCI and you basically have a new bat and it's kind of like now your PCI yes it's where it's the control of your bat basically even though the meme from a couple years ago was the PCI is not your bat it's the plate coverage indicator but now it's actually a bat basically gives you like how your swing is gonna go so like if you get if it's level at the very top of the zone it'll be a line drive if it's down you know you get a launch angle like all that stuff it kind of gives you it moves with your swing I personally have used it a little bit haven't really fallen in love with it like other people have but I feel like if I use it and get used to it I will enjoy it as the game goes on but yes overall when it comes to hitting and I feel like the biggest thing in this game is going to be how good you are at hitting and timing is so key this year you have to be on time and your PCI placement has to be perfect like I mean it's got to be if it's going to be a line drive it's like you got all of it basically I have I did notice from the tech test guys that have outlier are insanely hard to hit I mean they are ridiculous and especially since the fact that now instead of the the cap for how fast you throw a ball being 102 is now 104 and obviously there is a screenshot I'll put it on the screen if I can if I can find it there was a screenshot of Randy hitting 107 in the tech test I was like oh my gosh obviously it was probably 104 but it just glitched and said 107 the fact that they upped the pitch speed and made everything just that much harder plus outlier holy crap this is going to be a tough tough year no matter what difficulty you play on if you play on legend have fun if you play on hall of fame have you know hopefully you'll have more fun and then all-star is going to be hard this year i feel like all-star is going to be a struggle for guys in ranked seasons obviously br might not be the hardest in the world it might just kind of feel like a couple you know like 21 maybe like 19 or so but when it comes to ranked i feel like especially i feel like ranked is going to be very 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 hard this year but that's how it should be ranked should be hard it shouldn't be easy nothing in this game should be easy and that's what they went against for this year and i am super super excited for mlb the show 23 to come out it comes out in a month I can't wait, man. I'm super excited for it. Similar to the RIP MLB The Show 22 video, I'm going to turn it to you. What do you guys think of MLB The Show 23 so far? What have you liked? What did you like about the tech test? What did you overall think was cool, like new features that you think are going to be awesome? Please, for sure, reach out in the comments and let me know. And also, if you would like to, please join the Discord server and we can talk furthermore there. But as always, guys, hit that sub button if you are new around here. Ring the bell. Hit the like button. But as always, guys, spread joy and positivity. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody.